Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 450. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, this trick here is about number formatting. This is a uh, kind of an abbreviated a set of notes on number formatting uh, for my Business 216 class. They have a test coming up this Thursday. All right, here it is. We got a bunch of numbers and number formatting. And what is number formatting like? It's like the paint on the outside of the house. Or it's like your Halloween costume at Halloween. It's just what you see on the outside. For us, when you apply number formatting, it's just what's on top. You see, this whole row has the same number. This whole row has the same number. Let's see what happens to these numbers when we apply the different formats. I'm going to highlight that column, Control-1. Oh, there's General. By the way, the keyboard shortcut for General. We'll see that in just a moment. Uh, let's try Number. Highlight this column, Control-1. That's a keyboard shortcut for Format Cells, and click Number. Immediately you can see it looks like it hacked off some decimals, but it didn't. That's just the paint on the top of the house or the Halloween mask, right? You look like a ninja, but underneath you can't fight very well, right? The, what you see on top is not exactly like what's underneath. There it is, that's what's underneath. Now let's try currency. Control-1, currency. Ah, dollar sign. Now look in the cell. Did we see a typed in dollar sign? No way. What about here? It's just three characters, and here it's uh, three, six, seven characters. Let's try accounting. Control-1. Click OK. Fixed dollar sign on the outside. Decimals line up. This is called a floating do dollar sign. Now here's the tricky one. These are numbers. Ten days since January 1st, 1900 is probably like January 10th, 1900, right? Control-1, and let's apply date formatting. Uh, and then there you can see a sample right there. Click OK. Sure enough, this is formatting. And this is where people get tricked with time and date. But I've just illustrated that if you start with a number and apply the formatting, you can see that you remember that underneath is really a number. Highlight these. The time's even trickier because it's a proportion of one 24-hour day, right? So really it should be a number between 1 and 0. When we apply time format, it'll just be looking at the decimal part of this. Control-1, and then I'm going to click on time. And so, sure enough, we can see 0.235 is, that's the proportion through one 24-hour day, so that's approximately, uh, or 538 with 24 seconds. Click OK. All right, you can see all these whole numbers here that are to the integer. That was a 100 there. It just thinks of it as nothing because there's no decimal here. It's 12 AM. It's the start of the day. Now let's see how to use these last two. Date math. Um, if I ask you what the invoice due date is, and here's today's date, you always take the later date minus the earlier date. If you get this with some sort of formatting, you can use this keyboard shortcut, Control Shift Tilde. So sometimes um, when you, you do date math, the format will carry forward, and you just Control Shift Tilde to get rid of it. That's 390 days that thing is overdue. Loan issue date, we have the loan issue date plus 90. And here we want the number format. 5 1 is when that loan is due. And finally, time. Here's the time in, the time out. Just like with dates, you always take the later time minus the earlier time. Oh, control shift tilde. I do not want that formatting there. That's the proportion of 124 hour a day equals this times 24. That's how you get the time worked. Nine hours. Now you can take your ew gro or calculate your ew gross pay. Wage per hour times your actual time worked. All right, number formatting. Remember, it's like the paint on the house or that Halloween mask. All right, we'll see you next trick.